Here is a Faraday box experiment. Basically, I have two two-way radios. Uh, I'm going to set it both at the same, mode. same frequency. Channel mode. And I'm going to simulate a positive feedback between two radios. And it will make a huge squeak. Yeah, that's the huge squeak of two-way two-way radio making a having a positive feedback. And I'm going to wrap one of the radio with aluminum foil to shield the positive feedback between both radios. Hold on. Here is, um, I wrapped one of the two-way radios with aluminum foil, and let's see whether I have a positive feedback. Hello, can, obviously, the aluminum foil perfectly shield the positive feedback between both radios where this aluminum foil effectively shielded the positive feedback between two radios. My guess is that the shielding the the shielding between both radios is a, the shielding from this radio I'm guessing is uh, is way above 100 dB. I'm guessing is way above 100 dB. Uh, mathematically speaking, a positive feedback between two way radios. Hello, one, two, three, four, five, six. I talk to my two way radio. Hello, one, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously, it created no positive feedback when I created a Faraday box for this one of this radio. And my next experiment is to put one of the two-way radio inside this Faraday box and let's see whether that shield whether this metal box can partially shield this radio without the aluminum foil okay obviously um, the aluminum foil did a very good job shielding one of the radios and preventing a positive feedback between both radios. So I'm going to use this metal canister, this metal can. I'm going to put this two-way radio in this metal box. I'll show a picture in this metal box. Hold on, let me zoom back. In this metal box, and here is the one of the radios and let me obviously this metal canister does not shield the positive feedback both between both radios but let me close this close this uh, metal tin can and let's see whether it shield it Obviously, it did not shield very well, even when I close it. And my guess is that my guess is that there's a gap here, a gap around this canister. I didn't tape it, by the way, and I'll show you that I didn't tape it. My guess is that there's some space some space between the lid and the metal can and when there's space 